It's the official start of summer, and you know what that means. Time to start planning that vacation. But there is a dark side to summer fun. Injuries, health problems. They won't be an issue, though, if you travel by Dr. Carrie Peterson's guidelines. And she's here right now. These are simple things, Dr. Carrie, you say we can do to keep vacation a safe. Th uh, welcome. Glad Thank you're you, here. Thank you, Hi. Let's go down your list, shall yes. we? Oh, by the way, I am. This is perfect for me because I am leaving for Tokyo in August to go visit my son. Ah, so we'll see what you need to do. Yes, hopefully not the first one on the list. Vaccines. vaccines. I don't want to get any vaccines. I'm not going to go anywhere where I have to have you, them. Well, you might need to. First off, you want to make sure that you're up to date with all your routine ones. Make sure you have your tetanus, your measles, mumps, and rubella. But some countries do have a recommendation for certain vaccines. And I know for Japan, they require hepatitis A. So you may want to check do? into that. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I did not know that. Yeah, you can look at the Center for Disease Control website to see what your country <laughs> recommends. Okay. And there are some vac some countries that have required vaccines, such as yellow fever. So do your homework and see your doctor four to six weeks in advance for vaccines because they take time to kick in. Okay, malaria risk, none in Tokyo, I assume. No, no, none in Tokyo. Okay. But Southeast Asia does have yeah. malaria risk in several of the countries, as do many areas around the world. So again, look on the CDC website and you will need to take a prescription that you have to start before your trip. So be prepared. Your medicine supply, what do you mean by that? Yes, if you have chronic medical problems and are taking medication you need to do a little bit of planning. Mm -hmm. The first is you want to make sure that you have an ample supply and bring a little bit extra just in case you're extending your trip and split it up between your carry-on and the bag that you're checking in. Good Ju point. Yeah. Just in case one gets lost. That's right. Mm -hmm. And also carry, this is very helpful if there's an emergency, carry a list of your medicines and your medical problems on a piece of paper and put it in your wallet. Doctors know to look there for the list. And then finally, carry your medications in the original packages with the labels because some customs give you a hard time. Insurance. Insurance. If you're traveling away for a long period of time, the health care in this country will not cover you for medical emergencies outside of the country. So if you're going to be traveling abroad, consider getting travel medical okay, insurance. That's a good idea. We have 30 more seconds. Traveler's kit. What is Traveler's that? Traveler's kit. There's no Dwayne Reeds on every corner in other countries. So yeah. make sure you have your little handy kit of basic first aids, band-aids, ace bandage, and then some remedies such as acetaminophen, Advil, uh, stomach upset such as Pepto-Bismol, and even something for allergies. Oh my goodness. It sounds like another bag. I know. A little and one. Make a little. All right. Uh, Foodborne issues. Obviously, certain countries have them. That's right. Water is not safe everywhere around the world. So a few just little steps to take. Wash your hands. Only drink fluids out of bottles. Only eat fruit you can peel. Don't put ice in your drinks. If you do drink something that you're, mm -hmm. you're, you're pouring out of a bottle and eat food only that's well prepared or well cooked and served hot. Okay, we're out of time, but let's Bed bugs, real quick. Bed bugs. Check your room for bed bugs before you settle in. <laughs> okay. And, and leave that hotel if you find anything. Yes. All right. Thank you so much, Dr. Carey. Thanks, Katie.